Hello, welcome back everyone to another episode of my big fat journey where today, well, this one's an interesting one. This week, we came back in, well, okay, let's go back to last week. Last week we weighed in at 291.4, this week 292.4. We gained a pound. Now, originally, I probably would have been like, oh, well, screw this freaking day, it's not working anymore. But no. I'm not really too concerned about it. I'm just trying to figure out how. So the main thing that got added to the diet this week, which I'm guessing didn't help, was something that shouldn't be a problem. Aunt Millie's came out with a keto dinner roll. And yeah, I noticed it around the time of consuming those that the keto breath ended up kind of dwindling out and unfortunately I don't have a way of testing my ketone levels so if I'm doing math properly one plus one equals something but whether that something is what I think it is I'm not sure so it may have kicked me out of ketosis so this week we're killing the Aunt Millie's and we're going right back to the Lewis Bakery so I'm not going to make one say one way or the other, but I'm kind of not looking good on that one. Especially when nothing else changed in the diet. Now, granted, last week we had a 5.4 pound loss. That was a huge loss, and kind of having one that's not that big afterwards, I mean, it's kind of foreseeable. Now, I did something, okay? I committed to something pretty big. And what I did is I committed to doing a run. This is not ready for a run, but there's time. Okay, this run isn't till September 19th, and I'll put a link down in the description below to the run I'm doing. It is going to essentially be a world record run, but not by just me. It's going to be by a bunch of people remotely. And this is something that you guys can join in too. If you want to join me in this, it is completely free to do. And what it's going to be is the largest number of remote runners across the world in a 24 hour period. So essentially, I can run anywhere I want. All I have to do is have a tract on a running app, submit a screenshot of it to the people organizing the whole thing, and then you kind of get into the record because you participated. So this means I have to do a 10K run. And 10K, as I looked at it on Google Maps, is a long freaking distance. I didn't look at what a 10K was until, like, after I'd signed up. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it. But I got a lot of work I have to do. And the work that I have to do is going to be starting here relatively soon. Uh, basically as soon as a local school lets out for the summer. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run in their parking lot. And I'm going to walk, I'm going to jog, I'm going to run. I'm going to basically try and push myself just a little bit each further each segment. Uh, the first segment though I want to do is kind of just flat out kind of run until I can't run anymore just to see how bad in shape I am. I'll stretch beforehand because I know exactly what I'm getting into and it's going to be disappointing, but regardless, that'll be something I'm going to be working on. But if, like I said, if anyone wants to join, the link is in the description below, uh, Virtual Runners. It's, it's a very cool thing. And plus, I've always wanted to be involved in a world record. And my understanding is that if you participate in a world record, you can actually send out to get one of those official Guinness certificates. So it'll be, uh, be kind of cool. In other news, there's a vacation that I may potentially, it isn't set in stone yet. There's a vacation that I may be doing in July. And if that happens, that our deadline for hitting 200 pounds, it, it dropped by about a week and a half, two weeks. About a week and a half, I think. Because essentially on this vacation, it's in Florida, and the food down there is just amazing. Now, I'd be going in with the post-keto diet, and then when I got back, I'd probably get back on the keto for a little bit. But while I would be there, I would be testing out the more healthy way of eating with controlled portions, I think would be the best way of putting it. I don't know if I'm going to push forward the deadline because that would put us at about, it's under two months to get to 200 pounds. 
or if I would just postpone it the week and a half that I would be down there. But while I would be down there, even though it's Florida, I'd be doing my runs, I'd be going to a gym, I'd be swimming in a pool, I'd be doing a whole bunch of stuff to make sure that I was not um, straying off the track of things. So it's going to be interesting to see, should this not fall through and we actually do go through with this, um, it'll be interesting to see how transitioning into more normal food will go. Now on to the last thing that I want to talk about. I've always had the goal of 250 pounds for keto and I think the 250 pounds is gone uh, for, the t- for the time being. I, I don't have that goal in mind anymore and the main reason is my skin is getting pretty bad for me personally. I've always had the number one fear of I don't want to lose so much weight that I start to hate my parents and what I am. And in different parts of my body, it is starting to show and it's um, it's just not something that I, I like. So I'm gonna hold true to the end date, whether it be around July 7th, if it goes just to July 17th and I don't change anything at all, or if I was to postpone it to like the end of July, regardless of what I decide to do there, when I get to that end point, it'll be done for a while and then I will pick back up keto once I feel like my skin is good enough that I can continue on but I do need to I do need to take care of some things uh, and let the skin catch up Um, I'm going to be starting some vitamin C here very very soon I heard vitamin C is supposed to be very good for the skin but with me still being young I know I can do this without surgery there's still that potential that I can do that Um, and I would much rather avoid having to have scars for the rest of my life than um, going through with surgery and having those battle scars forever. I think for my own self-image and keeping my mentality fine, um, I definitely want to just go ahead and cut it at the deadline date, uh, wherever I get to. I imagine I'll get to 200. If I don't get to 200, I'll go to 200, but I should. And then anything beyond there, um, I'll let go and we'll, we'll just stop when we get to that deadline. But there's just some parts on the skin I'm just like, well, you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Just didn't know how far I could go until it would start to really show and um, I would really start noticing it. Uh, noticeably for other people though, it, it doesn't show very much for anybody else. So that's the good thing. It's, it's just mostly me. I'm just sitting around and I'm like, oh, hey, look, my legs do this bloop thing. <laughs> I'll show a picture of a bird somewhere that's doing this bloop. I wasn't too excited uh, when I discovered just how much it's uh, starting to show and for me personally. And, uh, but that's re- that's beyond the point. Uh, right now we are doing okay though. We had a pound gain. I'm not too thrilled about it, but you want to know something? It's not a big deal. We had a huge loss last week, so it, it levels out. I'm looking forward into getting back into next week, having zero keto rolls or uh, any of the low carb rolls uh, from Aunt Millie's and uh, just kind of seeing how things go. But I'm I'm excited for this run coming up. I'm excited to see how adding running into things will change. So I'll keep you posted on how things go there. But that is going to do it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you guys back here next week. Good night.